morning everybody and welcome to fishingwithvance.com i'm pretty pumped up today because i'm heading out to lake first time fishing this year on the lake uh, as you can see it's trying to rain a little bit but i think i'm just going out for a little quick three or four hour trip and uh, just see how i can do um, gonna be using my new lorance today uh, it's a vacation day for me so I'm going to get out there and try to catch some fish and just uh, be on the lake a little bit. So the old taco, she's all loaded up, ready to go. Take a look back there. Well, you can't see my poles are back there. And my uh, pelican bass raiders back there. I'll come back to you from the lake. Here I am back at the, my fishing spot. Um, <clears throat> going to get loaded up and get out there. Uh, looks like some weeds are already popping up already here. It's uh, late April, about April 25th or something like that. And I uh, see the weeds are already poking up. So I'm going to try the new Lorenza today. And uh, so it might be a challenge. Might be a challenge with the weeds. But we'll see what happens. And uh, come back to you hopefully with some fish too. Going to target some bass. Going to target some trout. And... Uh, just most of all, just going to be pumped up to be back on the old Pelican Bass Raider, back fishing again. See you in a few minutes, hopefully with some fish. See some activity right over there, fishingwithvance.com. Hey everybody, it's Vance from fishingwithvance.com. All right, I'm out on the lake. Uh, I'm trying out my new Endura Max 55-pound thrust motor. Um, it's uh, brand new, I didn't even take the plastic off. And... Uh, uh, works pretty well. It, uh, I don't notice it being a lot stronger than that 44 pound max, Endura Max that I have, but uh, definitely going to do the job. Um, the ton of weeds out here, and I'm not sure what to throw this water. Like, water temperature is not coming up on my new, new Lorance, so I'm not sure what's up with that. But, um, alright, kids, I finally got a. I shouldn't say finally, but I got the first bass of the season. There he is. Gotta love it. First bass of the year, baby. And he is on a mustard colored tube. So you gotta love that. I gotta take the first picture of the first bass of the year. Gotta love that. And there he is. A little mustard cutter tube action. Good stuff. Thank you, brother. First bass of the year, kids. Got another hit here, guys. I think it's another little bass. Yep, look at this little dude. Oh, he housed my... Yeah, my awesome tube. Yes, sir. All right, guys, let me show you what I'm doing here. I don't have a lot of battery power today and for my GoPro because I was so excited to come fishing, I forgot all my spare batteries, so good job by me. I caught those first two bass up on um, the ridge up there. There's a rocky line that runs the whole way down. It's an old roadbed, and... Um, of course I had to go to my mustard colored tube to start the day because here in the spring when this water is looks pretty clear these guys I've had success on this mustard colored tube so we're gonna see what happens and uh, I caught two right off this edge and let's see if I can't get one on camera here before my batteries run out but I'm throwing the, right on the back side of that rock edge it's a it's a little d deeper water right in there um, so it drops right off so I imagine first two that I caught there must be patrolling up up on that rock edge and seeing what they could find I've gotten two hits and two missed fish so I might have found at least a few to get here so let's see if I can't hook another one and uh, there's a ton of weeds in here so with this you know with this tube you know it's an exposed hook so you're either gonna catch a fish or catch some weeds but 
as my partner High Life loves to say, you gotta, you're gonna play, you're gonna pay. There's my phone going off. Let's see if I can't catch another one here. These fish love these tubes out here. I, it, I think it's, I don't know. I've had great luck with them. A lot of guys don't fish for um, large mouth with tubes. Uh, mostly it's a small mouth bait, but you know these guys out here they they must they can't resist that dying looks like a dying bait fish or something I think the mustard color looks like the belly of the sunfish and bluegill that are out here not bluegill but the sunfish are out here looks like their belly I think and so if I can get them in front of it and not catch weeds then you can get fish. The, the reverse in this, uh, in this new motor is, is pretty nice. It should be brand new, but it does, uh, it's doing the job. Let me throw one more over and up in here. See if I can not get one up there. It's cruising. There's a thump, but Yeah, and there he is. There he was. He was up there. The little guy. But this time of the year, who cares? Look at these this little bass. He's up there chowing. And that's how that's how it works. That's three fish right off that edge. The little dude going for mustard tubes. Gotta love it. Let's get some more. Oh, on here. And there's another one. And that is already fished. Oh, come on, baby. Yeah, he was, he was hooked good. There we go. Sorry, partner. That's fish number number five already on this tube. Mm. Looks like a little better fish this time. <laughs> Come on, partner. Come on up here. Oh yeah. A little chubbier dude. Yes. That's a little better one there. Alright guys, I'm fishing with my, my uh, Patriarch. I left my camera on like an idiot. I have no batteries, so... It's Video will probably be cut short, but I'm fishing with my new Patriarch. Like I said, it's super light. That's probably that's claim to fame. I just missed a fish on it, so let me see if I can't catch its first first fish on it. I'm fishing with a chartreuse pepper colored uh, grub, and uh, like I said, I had my first hit on it, and I missed him. Tighten my drag a little bit, and hopefully I can catch one but I left my camera running like an idiot uh, I always do that though but uh, let me see if I can't catch a fish on it and go from there this thing is super light that's uh, I could see me uh, using this for my primary rod down the road looks like I'm getting a hit and I think I got a little bass on it this little guy running along the edge he liked that grub. Look at the little guy. Oh yeah, he liked he liked the chartreuse grub. Gotta love it. Put the patriarch in there. Oh yeah. He liked the chartreuse grub. 
A little tug here. I dropped it, gave it a hit. This is what I'm using right now, guys. I switched over to the chartreuse and pepper grub. And uh, my partner's running some big ones on here, throwing this in the past on this, uh, right along this canal. So, let's see if we can't scare out a bigger guy. All right, guys, coming back to you now. I uh, had a couple hits. I switched over to this little fluke, this baby bass colored fluke. My fishing partner, Steve, would love this bait. And I'm um, throwing it all up along this rock line. Uh, see if I can't catch one on this. Like I said, I'm using my new Fluger Patriarch. And uh, see if I can't catch something on this baby bass fluke having a good time thanks for coming again thanks for coming along with me today on fishingwithvance.com I haven't caught anything yet on this baby bass I've had some hits but uh, I think they're just bluegill but uh, gotta be something that wants this baby bass as my partner Steve would love it. My man Steve, let's see if we can't catch something here on the, on the pride side. Get this uh, baby bass. It's about, I don't know, it's about 60 degrees, maybe not quite, maybe about 55 degrees. Water temperature, my Lawrence doesn't work, so not sure what the water temperature is, but um, the water's still pretty cold, so I imagine the fish are still in, you know, some type of pre-spawn pattern right now. I'll tell you, I'm not getting a lot of hits on anything except the chartreuse colored um, baits right now and it's amazing this time of year it's just every year the mustard and the chartreuse just seem to really do the job now somebody's somebody's playing with this uh, I don't know if it's a bass or just some weeds pulling back for me I think it's just weeds or it's a bass in the weeds oh no it's a bass Let's keep him on there. That's a little dude. But he was coming through. There we go. He made a liar out of me, little man. He said, hey, I'll, I'll hit something that's not chartreuse. I'll hit some baby bass. A little baby bass action fluke. Thank you, buddy. Little guy, but I'll take it. See you, pal. Good times. FishingWithVans.com Another one there, a baby bass. A little fluke action on the Patriarch. Love it. Alright guys, I'm back. Had the re-rig here. I'm sticking with the baby bass. Had the re rig. And uh, let's see what we can do here. I am digging this new reel. Nice and light. But let's see what we can get going here. New hat mount is, uh, we'll see what kind of footage I get on it, but uh, it's not bothering me, it's not too far forward. Um, I picked a good hat, High Life was right about that. 
to go with this hat, but uh, let's see if Papa Pump wants another crack. Of course, he already had some taste of some plastic, <laughs> so he may not he may not want another bite. But uh, somebody smoked it over here. It's a perfect day. It's too bad that I gotta go home, but gotta get some stuff done. And but I'm planning on coming back a lot here, just to tell you what's going on with fishing with Vance. Little update. Uh, here we are, April, so it's almost time for the Vance's fishing May extravaganza, and we'll be fishing out here a ton then. And uh, oh. Oh, there's one. <laughs> he, he ran with it like it was his job. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was cool. He jacked it. Oh, man, that's fun. Look at that little guy. He blasted that baby bass. He said, hey. Thank you, little man. Good stuff. That's fish number 10 for me, and I've only been here for... It's about 10, 10 o'clock or so. So I've only fished for a couple of hours. And part of that time I was trying to figure out what the hell that Lawrence did, which to this point, uh, not a whole hell of a lot. So, <laughs> but hey. Um, anyway, what's coming up on Fishing with Vance? A lot of fishing out here. Gonna be a good time. Um, we really, really enjoy the spring fishing. I'm sure most of you guys do. So, we'll be, I'll be bringing you lots of videos. We're gonna try some different things, but last year I tried a bunch of things and you always come back to what works. So here I am back throwing, you know, the mustard tube, the purple worm, although the purple worm has wore the collar so far today, but that's okay. It's, uh, I'll probably throw it tomorrow and um uh, but we'll have lots of fishing videos what's coming up lots of fishing videos um and uh should be a lot of fun um uh my buddy penner he's going to be joining me a lot this year um he uh is able to free up some time and i'm able to free up some time so we're going to uh we're gonna fish a lot more this year. I'm looking forward to that. Um, he's a great dude and he'll be on the channel a lot this year. So that should be a good time. Anyway, I'd like to catch a couple more fish before I have to hit the road. I'm sitting at about 10, I think. So nothing huge, but I really don't care. <laughs> so not working today and that's always a good fishing day, right guys? Stay tuned.